It's the worst business I've ever seen in my life. But it can also be a very lucrative. I, I can't give you a dime until I see the script. I know who's a talent. Like, I just can't get my mind around that. I'm James Lavatol. And I'm Brian Pitt. And our project is titled Track Days. We're seeking $5 million. Whoa. It's a lot of money. In exchange for 34% equity in our production. Now, Track Days is a full-length action film. I'm out. It revolves around the exciting world, the I'm motorcycle out. world <laughs> championship. I'm out. You're so open-minded, Mark. I'm out. Did I say I was Again, out? Again, Track Days is a full-length action film that revolves around the exciting world of a motorcycle world championship. And what better way to make a blockbuster than by combining one of the largest grossing movie genres with the second most watched sport in the entire world? Which is professional motorcycle racing. Now, we went ahead and put together a little teaser trailer for you sharks. Awesome. But no premiere would be complete without some good old-fashioned American popcorn and candy. Carrie, our lovely umbrella girl, is going to pass you out some treats. Thank you, Carrie. Now, James will be dropping you off some premiere gift bags, because we all want a little good swag when we go to a movie premiere. Let's start your engines, because the race is about to begin. Room. That's it? That's it? How many did you make money on? We grossed well over 200 million. Mr. Brooks is one that did fairly well. It was Kevin Costner, Demi Moore, uh, Dane Cook. Did a movie called Waiting that uh, did very, very, very well. And what about you, James? What about you? What's your background um, here? Uh, when I was younger, I was on Broadway. I came to LA, did stunts. You know, I'm a huge motorcycle fan, and there's been such a lack of movies made about them. I have an issue with the subject matter. Yes, sir. I love racing, but not many people in North America love motorcycle racing. Correct. Absolutely. Americans love NASCAR, not this kind of racing. Correct. When we attach an actor, that will sell to America. If I put uh, Ryan Gosling in this, my girlfriend's going to go see it because of Ryan Gosling. But earlier you said that the actor's not important. No, I, now you're saying he is. I'm going to jump in here for a second. The actor's not attached by design. We're too early in the stages. If I put an actor to it at this point, when we got down the road, it may not warrant the sales that I need. Walk me through the numbers a little bit. I give you five million today. You don't have a script, you don't have an actor. We have a story. What happens to my cash? What we want to do is take your money, put it into, let's say, an escrow account or some kind of interest-bearing account to where we can't touch it. At that time, we can go and put the package together for you. We'll have a list of 10 actors that fit the leading role. So roles. you can't start the project until, until people you approve know of everything. that the cash is there. We will not start the project until you're happy with the calculated risk that you would have to take, because it would be very minimal. Otherwise, we don't do the movie. Guys, let, let me try to help you out. When you take a movie and you have money behind it, then all the people you're pitching to think you're real. You're using our money as bait. Correct. Basically. Yes, yeah. absolutely. 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 The movie business, it's the worst business I've ever seen in my life. But it can also be a very lucrative. I, I can't give you a dime until I see the script. I know who's a talent. Like, I just can't get my mind around that. Brian, I think you're doing this because you can't, because you're stuck and you can't get the money any other way. Oh, no. Why? Why should I take the risk today? Here's the other thing that we're all forgetting about. This has such a massive built-in audience that- You have nothing today. Who's still left on the executive producer list? Uh, we're not. We're, you guys we're, are we're already out, guys. We're already out. Definitely. We're out, guys. All right. All right. You know, take it down. Take it oh, off. Oh, that's funny. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, I see Mr. Wonderful's next on the list, so let, let him speak. Yes, sir. Please do. It is a horrifically bad idea. I forbid you to proceed. I'm out. OK. okay. Mr. Wonderful's no! next. Oh. He's going. <laughs> We got Barbara and Rob. I'm next, I'm next. But I can't picture myself going home and telling my teenage son, who I won't let get a motorcycle, I'm financing a film on motorcycle racing. Scare the crap out of me. It's not my kind of thing, I'm out. OK. Vanna? Okay. Oh, take Banna. me down, take me on down. OK, hold on, because now this has become an issue. And What's going on? It's going down to you, Robert. <laughs> Just the producer left. 
<laughs> you got to give an A for so, showmanship, right? That's great. You know, Robert, and we, we anticipated, we, we anticipated this. this, so we figured you'd want to be in the race as well. Oh. And be in the movie. Track in the movie <laughs> on the bike. Look, ludicrous concept. You're transferring the risk completely from you to me. I can't get there without knowing more about it. Okay, okay. We can do I, that. I love racing. Yeah. We'll switch our plan just like that. I can't be involved on nothing. Okay. I have look. So I... I'm out. Okay. Hit it, Banna. Yeah, get rid of it. Oh, He's yeah. got it. Yeah. Oh, Good luck, guys. Close the cap. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Good luck, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. The golden ticket goes to my favorite product. I've made you a good offer. That's what I'm talking about. That is the winner. Riding all the way to the bank, baby. Yeah. You've come to the right place.